morning guys this is Brian back with a theta token update um, we had this falling wedge forming the other day if you go back and watch the other day's video we had this falling wedge forming we've come up and hit that price target to the penny um, at a dollar almost a dollar thirteen a dollar twelve nine is what we hit okay so we measured the width of this falling wedge and we have come up and hit that price target exactly. All right, I'm going to show you where this thing could be headed next. Uh, we'll get a look at them RSIs. I got a short clip to show you guys um, about a uh, crypto scam that was going on that I think everybody should be aware of. So I'm going to play this for you real quick and uh, let you guys see it. The first contact came through a message on Twitter. Well, there you go, guys. I think it's pretty important to, uh, you know, everybody, if you know something going on out there, to inform everybody else. It's a shame that uh, we have to deal with this in this market, but unfortunately, right now, that's the way things are going. Uh, we'll get, we're going to get back to this chart here in a second. Let's go. If you, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, guys. We'd love to have you here every day. I try to keep you guys uh, do the best I can on these charts and show you where these prices could be going. You know, it's not financial advice. It's what I'm seeing in the markets going on and, uh, you know, uh, just some friendly advice out there. You know, just 
showing you what I see in the charts. But here's here's the crypto bubbles, the top 100 for the day. You got a lot of green out there this morning. Things are looking really good. Um, looks like Bitcoin has finally finished that ABC correction that I was uh, that I was uh, talking about the other day. Here's the crypto fear and greed index. Uh, the market cap is up 0.33 percent. Volume is up 30.9 percent. Bitcoin dominance is dropping. That means the altcoins are taking more of the market share. And we are at a 62 today. We were at a 63 yesterday in the greed. Here's your uh, top gainers and losers. Of course, Dogecoin there. I don't know if uh, if you guys have gotten on Twitter lately, uh, you'll see what I mean. Uh, you know, as soon as you uh, sign into your Twitter account, um, uh, the Doge uh, coin pops up on there. Pretty cool. I don't know what's going on. Of course, Elon Musk bought that, and uh, now that coin is just pumping like crazy. It's up uh, 29 and a half percent this morning. Wow. So here's Theta. I want to show you guys real quick that uh, uh, ABC correction I was talking about with Bitcoin because honestly I thought I missed the uh, the call on that, but it ended up going down there and hitting that C leg. You can see here this thing started it was forming this wedge pattern and it fell out of that wedge and uh, I I said that it was doing an ABC. Well, it only came down to here and I thought maybe I missed it, but yesterday it squeaked down there and got right down in there right in the middle of the price target and I had for it so it ended finishing up that ABC correction I think Bitcoin is on its way up now so that's gonna be great for the market today um, I'm sure uh, gonna be a lot of stuff popping off but look at that big green candle we got from Theta here now guys just a little bit of uh, you know friendly advice don't buy big green candles okay yes this thing came up and hit our price target all right I'm going to, in fact, uh, let's just put one solid line that now. I said I was going to leave that there until we hit that target, and we have finally nailed it. Jeez, sometimes these things can take forever to wait on. But if you go back and watch the video the other day, that's the target we had projected for it, and we nailed it on the dot. The, do not buy big green candles. This thing is probably going to come back down. It's going to retest this breakout, and it might consolidate for a while. We had some pretty nice volume coming in down here, and if we look at these RSIs, okay, that four-hour is still on its way up, so it could have some leg it left on it. Uh, me personally, I, I uh, let's look at the one hour. The one hour is at the top. The twelve is getting the twelve is at the top, and the eight is uh, just about at the top. So, you know, I don't know. You, you never know with these markets, but after hitting that price target, I'm thinking this thing is. Uh, let's put this on the one real quick. Okay, you see we had that breakout level right here that was resistance we came up we busted through it we did retest it um i'm just not uh this one hour is turning red okay i'm just thinking this thing's going to pull back some and probably retest this uh you know former resistance now as support probably bounce around in here for a while not financial advice just showing you what i see out there guys that's what i would expect uh to happen so if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button uh did our first 100 ada giveaway the other day You're gonna do a giveaway at the end of uh every month for one lucky subscriber all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel but I'm, I'm thinking this thing's probably going to pull back to a dollar, dollar nine, dollar nine area and consolidate, you know, from what I'm seeing on these charts, especially with this RSI getting the whole way up there. We've had a nice volume spike come in here. So who knows? Could bust up through there. You know, you never know with these markets, but we are up 5.98%. At a dollar eleven six as I make this video. So thank you very much, guys, for watching my video. I very much appreciate it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a fantastic day. God bless you all.